Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week. Or no, this is for, um, this is your February bonus reading. I keep doing that today and yesterday as well. I kept doing it. But anyway, we're going to jump right in here, Leo. Uh, in your current general energies, you have the Seven of Swords here. Um, Seven of Swords can be lying, cheating, stealing. But, um, you know, as I always say, to me, the Seven of Swords is a card of tactics and like being tactical. Uh, doing things in life in a different way. And with the Five of Pentacles as your crossing energy, clearly, um, you know, you need to do things in a different way, probably in regards to your finances. I think this comes up for you in like every single reading. So, you know, it, it just seems to me like it is time for Leo to like upgrade, <laughs> you know, like upgrade the way they make money or maybe try to make money in a different way or in a more efficient way or um, you know, in some other way. So uh, we're, that's, you know, probably what we're going to look into here. But um, we're going to pull some Oracle cards for each part of this reading. You have this high honor card in your first connection here. I knew this was about money, by the way. So, you know, there you go. It's almost like I'm psychic or something, right? But you start off with this uh, high honor card here. And uh, this high honor card, really good card. <laughs> you know, it's a card of, you know, receiving a high honor, receiving recognition for what you do or, um, you know, getting paid what you're worth or getting paid, you know, what you are owed or whatever you want to call it. So I actually think things are going very well for you. I feel like mentally you think things aren't going well um, or you are feeling like you're going to be left out in the cold, but you're not. So, uh, you know, I would get those thoughts out of your head. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for growth here. Again, this card can represent an opportunity to receive high honors, like a raise, a promotion, recognition for your business, or like whatever it is you do. Um, you know, so there is an opportunity for attention here is kind of what I'm getting. Uh, again, to me, the Seven of Swords is a good card. Uh, golden cards in the tarot are meant to be positive no matter what. So, yeah, it could represent lying, cheating, stealing, um, you know, and that could have happened to some of you, but... Really, it's a card of tactics. He is stealing those swords from an army in the background of the card, and he is moving forward towards, like, you know, bigger and better things. He also needs to make sure he's not taking things too seriously. You know, he has polka dots on his cloak, and polka dots in the tarot kind of represent needing to be more playful, uh, needing, you know, taking they can come up when we are taking things too seriously and we need to be more playful. But I just feel like, you know, I know it's, I say this every single reading I do for you, but it's true. <laughs> um, you know, don't shoot the messenger, as they say. Uh, I feel like there are better ways that you could be doing things. And again, obviously, I don't know what you all do, so I can't tell you what to do. Um, I, could, I can't tell you what to do anyway in the first place. Um, you know, you have to make these decisions, but I can tell you what you could figure out. Number one, I feel like you need to focus on your strengths. The Five of Pentacles is your crossing energy. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. And Five of Pentacles can represent, you know, focusing on weaknesses instead of doubling down on strengths. So I feel for a lot of you that there are some strengths. There are some things that have worked for you in the past, like in work or business, or they're just some things that you're good at. And I, like, I feel this is saying like, stop trying to, you know, it, it, it's not about not making improvements. Like I would, I would never encourage anyone to not make improvements, but you know, at the same time, I feel like there are some really good things that you could work on as far as your, you know, as far as like your skills are concerned, like you have some specific skills that you're very good at. And I would double down on your strengths with this five of pentacles. Also, if you are feeling left out in the cold in love, I feel like there is clearly a, sal a very solid connection coming in for you here. Uh, you have the ace of cups in the area of your thoughts. So, you know, ace of cups is a card of your emotions overflowing being very happy, uh, you know, having good things, you know, being uh, being in something where the energy is overflowing. You could be thinking about love. I do feel there could be just a very solid connection coming in for you. So again, if you want love, looks to me like there's a very solid connection here. Um, you know, again, you could just also be looking for fulfillment. The Ace of Cups is kind of something that you could do all day. You know, um, that cup can easily, easily reach down into the water below it and fill itself up. So, you know, some of you, I feel are looking for opportunities for fulfillment or you're looking for opportunities that where, um, you know, this could be work opportunities or love or whatever, where they are, they are like self-fulfilling, you know, where you don't have to put in tons and tons of effort, where you don't have to, and it's not even about effort. It's just about like, you don't have to do like over effort, you know, something like that. You have the Nine of Cups in your foundation. Uh, really good. You know, again, another card of fulfillment, wish fulfillment, something good coming in for you. Again, I feel like you think things are going much worse than they actually are. So for those of you that are a little bit of stinking thinking here, uh, I would get rid of those thoughts, right? Uh, some of you might be fine, of course. You know, I'm reading for a bunch of you, but... 
Nine of Cups is about bathing in the energy of what you want. So it's really a card of matching energy and making sure that you're matching the energy of the things that you desire. And that's really what we need to do with the uh, Nine of Cups is we just have to match the energy of the things that we desire and we will be successful. So I would make sure to do that with the Nine of Cups, of course. Um, Nine of Cups is kind of my card of that says act as if. You need to um, act as if you already have something and then you can have it in your life. We also go up to the Justice card here. Justice just says like put energy into things that give energy back to you. And I, I really feel it's that simple. Like I, I think that life has been complicated for you here, Leo. You're trying to make things work. You're, it, you know, it seems to me like you are trying to make something successful here. I, I, I know that sounds very general and it is, but you know, it's like for some of you, I feel it's a business. For others, it's your work. For others, you're retired and you're just trying to make your life work. For others, it's, um you know, relationships, whatever. It's gonna be different for all of you. But that Nine of Cups is really saying, the Nine of Cups to the Justice card is saying, well, there are certain parts of the things that you do that do work. <laughs> and can can you just do more of that, right? And then figure things out from there. I think that's what you need to do. I know it sounds very simple. That's probably why you're not doing it. Again, I think when life gets hard, we start looking for hard solutions, but that's not always the answer. I actually feel your solutions are very easy, but again, not calling out here, because trust me, I like overcomplicate everything in my life. I totally get it, right? Um, and I think just we do this naturally as humans, but you know, I really do feel the solutions are rather easy. Um, you have the, whatever this is, Nine of Pentacles coming up in your past position. Nine of Pentacles is a good card, card of gratitude and luxuries. Um, you know, sometimes, well, here's the thing, is that above it, you have this message of concern card. Nine of Pentacles kind of represents this. Um, sometimes I think we build our life up to a certain place. We reach a certain comfort zone. We, um, you know, develop certain luxuries in our life. We have certain luxuries of our life. And I feel like some of you in the past have maybe gotten a message or you have um, received a message that is making you concerned that you won't be able to maintain your lifestyle. And that's really where I feel like this reading is going is that I feel like some of you are fearing like the being able to maintain your lifestyle. Really, I feel like the universe is trying to get you to wake up because I feel like the universe is trying to say like, actually, your, your lifestyle is supposed to be more than this, <laughs> but here you are worrying about holding on to something that's less than you deserve. You know, I hope that makes sense. It's like the universe is like, you're worried about losing something that's less than you deserve in, in your life in the first place or less than you could have. And, you know, I really feel the universe is trying to get Leo to exceed their own expectations. It's like, it's almost like the universe is saying like, no, 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 you're meant for like much more or you could be, right? You have a lot more potential. And, you know, I believe we're supposed to grow as much as possible. And, um, but again, you know, if you hold on to this like old life, you know, that could be part of the problem. Even in your very near future, you have the justice card. Justice is justice. I do feel that there is a sense of justice here. So, you know, if you're dealing with something legal or dealing with a challenge or something, I feel like things could be balancing out for you. I always I always get this for you. Like recently, I've been getting something about something legal or something like, like that. So if you have been dealing with something legal, it looks to me like things are balancing out. Uh, I also feel like you are just trying to create more balance in general in your life with the justice card. And I do feel like you will be creating more balance in your life just in general. Uh, on top of that, I feel this is about you putting energy into things that are actually working. I also feel that it is about you trying harder. <laughs> you know, um, there's no other way to say it. I, like, I, again, I wouldn't try harder necessarily. I would just try being more efficient and doing more of the things that work. Uh, you have this um, poverty card here. Uh, I don't think you're entering into poverty. I think this is more connected to the five of pentacles. I feel that it's saying, do not call attention to your weaknesses. We are in a time where, you know, there are a lot of weakness. There is a lot of like weakness, you know, weaknesses where we could be feeling like we can't do things or that we don't have the resources or whatever. And I really feel, you know, that the universe is trying to get most people to be like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know, I, I really, the, the readings basically say, yes, it's true. You don't have the money to do something, but how can you do it anyway? <laughs> you know, that's pretty much what they say. And, um, you know, I think that there's a lot of opportunity for the people that do things anyway. It's like, maybe you want to start a business, but you don't have money. It's like, well, how can you, like, what's the smallest thing that you can do for free right now? And it's really, I think that when we just take the step, the universe moves out of the way. The universe is like, well, they're, they're actually doing it. So, okay, like, here's the things they need. So, you know, I would get started. You have the three of cups here. Three of cups is a celebration. So I feel there is a lot of happiness and joy 
coming in for you here with the Three of Cups. Um, I feel like there is some sort of celebration if it wants to, uh, <laughs> if it wants to focus here, um, then we could make this happen. But I feel like there is a celebration. This is coming up in the area of the next few months. So I really feel you could be celebrating quite a bit. You know, the other interesting thing is like, I, I, um, I don't really see this here except for the Nine of Pentacles, but I see something about your environment changing. So the Nine of Pentacles can represent your environment because there is this snail right above my finger. Snails wear their homes on their backs. And so it can represent your environment, like where you live, where you're from, blah, blah, blah. And um, so I feel that for a lot of you. Um, and I feel like there could be a celebration because your environment is changing with the Three of Cups. And again, I feel it will be making you very happy. I also feel like this could have to do with the people that surround you though. <laughs> you know, there's something here where maybe you're realizing certain people aren't good for you, or maybe you're realizing that some people are more important than you thought they were. And um, so again, by nurturing those connections, I think you're gonna find a lot more success. Uh, you have the um, death card here. Death card is about a transformation. So, you know, I feel, and this is coming up in the area of your closest relationship. So again, that really tells me that there is some sort of change in your closest relationships. I think overall, this is going to be positive for you. Um, the sun is coming up here between these two pillars. These two pillars are from the moon card and the sun is coming up. So it kind of represents after a moon period. And uh, to me, it can represent clarity coming in. Even though death card is a card of a change, you know, it can say that there is a change because of the clarity you're receiving. And that's what I feel is going on here. This is probably in some sort of close relationship that you have in your life. For a lot of you, I feel this is like work related. Um, you know, I also have like a weird story popping into my head where it's like maybe you thought someone in work or your business was like good for the work or the business, but they're not. <laughs> and everybody's realizing that. So that could be the change. But again, I think this is very positive. Um, you know, it's gonna lead to like positive changes and things like that. I also feel that there could be changes in your love life and if you want love in the area of your future feelings, you have the Page of Cups here. So, and you also have this courtship card as well. Uh, you also have the Emperor. So you could be attracting an Emperor, an Empress, take it how it resonates, whatever you're into. I don't care, right? But there's clearly someone coming into your life here. Could be a really solid relationship, um, something that makes you happy. And I really, it's kind of funny because I get like Knight of Cups energy here. So it could be a person who really sweeps you off your feet or I kind of just feel like you're a little bit surprised. Not like so, like totally mind blown or something like that. But I just feel, you know, sometimes you, know, you meet a person, you're like, okay, you know, this is an interesting person. Let's see how it goes. And then you end up marrying the person, right? It's like that. That's the type of feeling I get here where... Um, you're like, okay, they're interesting. I'll give them another chance. And then, you know, really they kind of surprise you with like how good of a person they are, you know, how the relationship goes. So I kind of feel like this is more of like a pleasant surprise if that makes sense with a person. Uh, I also feel for a lot of you that you're, um, I feel very positive about this card in general. I feel like you are going to be feeling a lot more positive in the near future about an opportunity. You know, he has that fish in that cup there. And I always say that he needs to grab onto that fish. That fish could be like an opportunity. Um, you know, it could represent, I always say it's like something he needs to grab onto that because that fish could easily jump out of that cup and he could miss out on the opportunity. So there could be a big opportunity here in work or business that you're getting that you are not gonna wanna miss out on. You end with the um, emperor. The emperor to me is about preparation sometimes. Like he needs to be ready to go at a moment's notice. He has the, the his armor on underneath his cloak, but he's sitting there. So it's like he's relaxed, but he, he is in a position where he is ready to go whenever he needs to. So I feel for a lot of you that there could be an opportunity that just presents itself all of a sudden in your life. And I feel you could be taking advantage of it. I see a lot of success coming in for you here as well, especially for you bosses out there. You know, if you have a, a business or something like that, you have this courtship card as well. Uh, clearly, I feel there could be a boss coming in for you as well if you're looking for love, someone who wants to court you. Uh, and again, like I said, I kind of see this start as something where it's like you're interested, you know, but maybe you're just like, okay, well, you know, we'll see how this goes, blah, blah, blah. And then it like really takes off. Uh, with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. You know, I feel like you feel conflicted at times. Um, you know, I feel like there are, this is what I'm gonna say. Like, I feel like there are times where you say to yourself, okay, I'm gonna commit to something. And then you kind of don't want to commit to something. <laughs> uh, I get that, I'm a Pisces, right? And, you know, Pisces has a really bad, um, you know, kind of uh, whatever you call it. Um, you know, w w you know, Pisces is really bad at doing that reputation. I couldn't, I couldn't get that word out of my mouth for some reason, but you know, Pisces has a bad reputation for like committing to things and then like running away, right? And I'm not saying you're running away from anything, but it's like, you know, I think there could be like certain things in work where you say, you come up with an idea, you're like, oh, I'll go do this. And then you don't want to do it or something. I don't know, it's kind of a weird message, but that's what's popping into my head. 
And I kind of feel like if you could push past those points, that's where the success will come from. So, you know, I would push past those points, plain and simple. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles here. Six of, I feel like there's more balance coming in for you financially. I mean, you know, Six of Pentacles is about planting seeds in a direction, which if I were Leo, this is exactly what I'd be doing. I'd be trying new things, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, doubling down on the good stuff. I know I say this to every single reading, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I would do, <laughs> plain and simple. If you want to be successful, th there you go. I would be trying new things, doubling down on the good stuff, getting rid of the rest. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Temperance card. You see, I feel like you're turning your situation around. I wouldn't really call this a turnaround reading necessarily, although you know there definitely is some energy in the reading that kind of is saying there will be a turnaround or things are improving or things are going in a much better direction for you. So you know, I really like where this is going for you, Leo. Uh, the temperance card is the path to glory as well. This right here, this path with the crown is, is the path to glory. And so for a lot of you, you are, it, like this to me is saying you are on the right path. You are going in the right direction. Uh, the other thing is, is that again, I don't necessarily think that you have to, you know, like let's say you're trying to improve your finances. I don't think you have to totally change your job or quit your job or something. I just think that maybe you have to change your approach. And, you know, I think, I, I feel like I've said that to you before in the past as well. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Four of Wands here. Yes, definitely could be marriage coming in for you if you want love. You know, but for some of you, um, you know, this is like wanting freedom. Like I said, the really the feeling that I get in the past here in general is that there's a certain level of, you know, comfort or maybe there are certain material items that you have in your life or, you know, certain luxuries, certain things that you enjoy. And it's like, you don't want to sacrifice these, cer these certain things because you've developed a certain level of comfort in your life. And you know what the great thing about this reading is? I feel like it's saying you don't have to. And I also feel like, it, again, I also feel like it's encouraging you to exceed your expectations. It's like saying, you don't have to sacrifice these nice things in your life. Like maybe you enjoy going out to dinner once a week, but you're worried that you won't have the, the finances. Or maybe you enjoy um, you know some sort of hobby that costs money or something like that. I feel like this is saying, well, actually you could have better. You know, <laughs> it's saying... It, I, it, it's kind of like kind of in a weird way. I hope it makes sense because I really feel this reading is saying that the universe is saying to you, well, actually what you're doing right now is settling even if it doesn't seem like it, you know? So, you know, take that how it re resonates. With the Justice card, you have the King of Swords. Some of you are definitely dealing with something legal, which has been coming up for you for like weeks. So some of you could be dealing with a divorce, separation, or just a legal matter in general. Uh, the good news is, is um, you have Six of Pentacles, Justice, uh, King of Swords, you know, these are all cards of law and order. So it looks to me like, you know, which, you know, take that how it resonates is what I'm trying to say today. Um, I don't know. I didn't sleep at all last night, by the way. So <laughs> there you go. That's why I'm, I, I can't speak today. But what I would say is that, again, it looks to me like there's law and order in this situation. With the three of cups, you have the, the emperor, definitely a solid connection. And you could be meeting this person over the next few months. Could be an Aries, uh, you know, it could be an air sign as well. Uh, could be any sign, general reading, of course, but that's what stands out to me here in this reading. I feel like this is a person who is very mature, um, you know, very hardworking. Um, and again, it's kind of weird. Like, I feel like you fall, like fall head over heels. It is weird to me though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's like one of those things where it, it's not that you're like not attracted to this person. I just feel like as you get to know this person, they become like significantly more attractive to you for whatever that, you know, take that how it resonates, I, which I think is possible for sure. It's like, you know, you get, you, you see a person, you're like, okay, they're attractive, blah, 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 who cares? Um, but then as you get to know them and you get to know what type of person they actually are, um, they become significantly more attractive to you. So, you know, that's kind of the energy I get here. I'm wondering if this person is more reserved, maybe, you know, with that King of Swords, like maybe you get to know them, they're a nice person, but it's like, they don't totally just like, spill their guts on a first date so you don't like totally know who they are right away you know and it kind of gives me the, that vibe uh, with the death card you have the seven of pentacles uh change in direction again there are definitely changes in with the people in your life and i really see that going on here we talked all about it seven of pentacles says is the juice worth the squeeze so you know i think you could be looking at all all relationships in your life and saying is it worth it is it not worth it what direction should i go in with the Page of Cups, you have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, do not call attention to your weaknesses, for sure. In this reading, I feel this reading is saying you need to focus on your strengths in general. Uh, I also do feel you could be attracting a person or both of you where like both people have been left out in the cold. So you could be attracting a person who's been through something similar to you. Uh, with the Emperor, you have the Four of Pentacles. Mm, I feel like you have to get off the throne here, Leo. <laughs> you know, again, um, 
You know, it's like, imagine you had a kingdom that was like just a house, but you're meant to live in a castle. That's like the best way I could describe what the reading wants you to do. It's like you've been living, your throne has been in a house, but it's like, you know, the universe wants you to build a castle. I want you to build your kingdom, your Leo kingdom. Sorry, Leo king, that I'm stealing your your name here in this reading. But, <laughs> you know, again, I feel like you have to build your Leo kingdom here. And, um, you know, this could be you getting a job that you actually want. This could be you starting a business that you actually want and, you know, building it up to a certain level. God, damn. That's all I'm going to say about this right here. So, yeah, this looks good. But, um, you know, it's like you have to take a risk or you have to ignore your the, the things that make you feel weak and focus on your strengths, right? You have a spear card that says heartache over what you no longer have. I, there's a lot of this energy going on right now. I feel like a lot of people are kind of grieving the loss, like five of cups energy. And so I would just let go of those things. You have this archway card that says new opportunity, possibilities, and paths opening up. Yes. It, it, like this is your chance to build your kingdom or something like that <laughs> is what's going on here. And again, obviously that's not going to happen overnight. This is something that you're going to be doing for years. But, you know, I really feel this is going to be something very supportive based off these cards. You have this box card. You will receive a gift. Like, there you go. I kind of feel this could be just like a gift from the universe. You have this money path card. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Yes, definitely a path with money. It's a new path, new direction. But again, like if you have a business, for example, I just see you kind of focusing on works. It's not like you're leaving the business. I think you're just doing more of what works, playing that, you know, super easy, right? Uh, same thing with work, same thing with love. Even if you're retired, you, you obviously do things during the day. So, you know, whatever you do, unless you just sit around all day, which I guess that's possible as well, but you could probably improve that. Maybe you could put a cushion under your ass. That would make things better, right? This reading is about improvements. So if you've been, if you're retired and you're about to leave a comment saying you're retired and you sit on a hard chair, try a cushion, right? Might change things for you, right? But uh, what I would say here is that you're making improvements. You have the uh, wealth card. So there's clearly uh, an Im Im improvements in your wealth. I, I think you're worried about money. The, fu the funny thing is, is I, like, I feel like Leo is like very concerned about finances, but c clearly there's nothing to worry about. So I would let those fears go, especially if you're making improvements. I would worry, again, if you're sitting on the hard chair, right? I would worry about not doing something. You have this finger card. It says warning you of a problem either now or in the future. I would be careful with people just in general. I kind of feel like this is talking about people in your life. It's like you've learned, I feel over the past few years, you've learned a lot about, you know, people who's right for you, who's wrong for you. And I would just make sure you're paying attention to that. That's all I get there. But um, yeah, I like this. <laughs> definitely a path with money waiting for you to find it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.